Some estimates show several million people will be traveling to see Monday's total solar eclipse since it won't cross over Arizona. Some Tucsonans who are dedicated sky watchers are making the journey to cities inside the path of totality. Kaga 9's Alexis Dowd spoke to a couple who's headed to Texas to chase the eclipse. But this one was going to be so close and we knew it was coming. Jim Knoll and his wife Susan are leaving early April 5th for Ennis, Texas small town just south of Dallas that happens to be right on the totality line of this year's solar eclipse. So we said absolutely. We're heading over to Texas to see this one. They saw their first eclipse while they were in college at Montana State. That was kind of the, the hook. It got me a little bit excited about it. From there, the two went back to Montana to the Grand Tetons for the 2017 eclipse. I had my solar telescope, and so I was calling out the times and making telling people when, when they can put their glasses on and off. They started planning this trip right after. It really ought to be on everybody's bucket list. Uh, it's really, really hard to explain a total solar eclipse. You have to feel it. If you're going to be in Tucson for the eclipse, like me, then you can actually catch a partial eclipse from your own backyard. To get that 75% coverage, Tucson Amateur Astronomy Association says to be outside and looking up at 11.19 a.m. They did warn me though that you need to wear solar glasses like these the entire time because the sun won't be fully covered here. Reporting from Midtown, Alex Dowd, KGUN 9.